Welcome back, kids, to another daily Ace and Teardown powered by PicFu. John PicFu here, and what are we looking at? What are we looking at here? Origins of what? Okay, so let's take a look at the image. Origins Canine Supplement. I know this is a dog topper. So food topper. Doesn't say that on the image. Canine Supplement. Multiplex Health, five in one. Uh, the font here is a little hard to read. Uh, I will say that. Skincare and coat. Skincare and coat what? Anti itching, joint inflammation, digestion, total gut health, 90 servings. So, what this color, like orangey yellow on white, is very hard to read, especially from higher up on the SERP. I do love that it shows made in Texas, hashtag buy local, all stages, all diet types, and they show the product on the outside. So, all in all, it's pretty good, but it's missing some key elements. So, there's a lot of dead pixel real estate up here. I'd move the 90 servings up here so it's a lot clearer and easily readable. Probably in like a white font. Five in one. Skincare and coat. Skincare and coat what? But also you don't put topper on here because topper is a keyword that you're using over here. Powdered food topper. So I would put powdered food topper exactly what it is. Let's take a look at the rest of the images. Second image is what's inside. Again with that font. A little hard to read. Whole wild fish. Digestive enzymes. Show this kind of stuff. Show the fish. So if it's whole wild fish... Maybe show that in the main hero image. Fish oil, protein, net weight two pounds. Again, I don't see that it's two pounds over here. So you don't want me to have to get to the... Wait, why does it say five pounds over here? Hang on. Okay, so there is a five pound and then there's a two pound. So this five pound one, it's showing the image for the two pounds. Unless that's net weight and really five pounds is two pounds or otherwise that's the wrong image. We finally see a picture of a dog. Oh yeah, by the way. Put a dog in the background of your main hero image. Everyone's doing it. So you see this dog here? Uh, I don't know if I like the little x-ray of the dog. Yeah, it's interesting, cool, but this dog, I don't really know. Like, he's not catching it in his mouth. It typically goes on food. So show me how I can actually put it on food. Well, maybe, maybe you do show me. Let's keep on going. Uh, amino fatty acids, whole protein. Okay. Give me like the regular words on why my dog needs this. So amounts per one quarter cup. Great. Does that mean I give him a quarter cup? Okay, so bag size and 846. 846 servings? Wait. Feeding and serving instructions start slow, small amounts over two to three days. So toy one pound. So why would a medium 80 pound get 68, but a toy one pound gets 846? Oh, the, the chart represents the number of servings of origins in each bag. Okay. So there's 846 servings for a small dog. But why a medium dog? It's only seven. Or I guess they require more. It's not really that clear. So I'm not clear on how to use it, how many I put on, how much do I put on. So do I put a quarter of a cup on? Does it come with a scoop? I need to know. So far, you're not telling me exactly how, to, how much to put on my dog's food. So serving, it starts slow, small amounts over two to three days. So what's the serving though? What does that look like? Support your pets every day, health every day. Okay, we're just talking to talk for all breed dogs, all dog breeds and cats. Show more dogs. Show more dogs, show more cats. Okay, us versus the competition. Great. But showcase, I still see no wild fish. I still have no idea how much to put on my dog's food. And can it go on dry food and wet food or is it just one or the other? Um, so you have fish, pork, and turkey. Okay, so if this is a fish flavored, show fish. If this is pork, maybe show some bacon uh, or something like that. And turkey, maybe show like a turkey drumstick. Now you show a little turkey over there, but it's not super clear. Uh, bullet points, you have them. Made in the U.S. You have made in the U.S. in the title. I hope so. You don't. You should because it is made in the U.S. and you want to double down on that. Brandstar module. Wow, we actually have one today, guys. So... It's not loading. Why is my why is this stuff not loading? Let me refresh. All right, just as refresh it here. Rogue Pet Science. Was the name Rogue very clear up here? No. So I didn't know this was Rogue because there's no branding over here. It's very very small. Uh, you don't put the brand name in the title. So is it Origins or is it Rogue? We'll see. Uh, maybe that's the parent company. Uh, brand story module. You show that, but you don't show any dogs, any happy faces you know people with their pets living their best life all the kind of stuff you do so it's toppers digestion show more of it show your complete product line over here 
Because what happens if I don't scroll over here? I'm never going to see it. Should we check out the all-texturonian cheese? You're using it. You could be using it better. We'll say that. So into the A+, plus, allergy support. Skin Show dogs with skin and coat issues. Whoops. Oh, there we go. Loaded really quickly. Over a thousand five-star reviews. Don't do that. Don't say that. Just tell me. Don't tell me why the product's rated well. Tell me wh why it's good. So this dog here, King Charlesy, I think. Five and one. So what would I need to have in order to be the five and one? What other kind of stuff would I have to buy separately to make it the equivalent of what you have? Uh, show different poundages, different sizes. Put the the size underneath it because just showing this is not clear. So say this is a two pound, five pound. What's inside? You're saying the same thing again, and there's nothing pairs well with. All right, you're trying to upsell over here, which is good, but I still have no idea. So this should be in your brand story module, the welcome to rogue science. That's a better image than not having anything at all, showing maybe the founders and the dog and stuff like that. That's not really for the A+, that's more for the brand story module. All texturoni and cheese, what do we got? Yeah, you're using it, but... Don't say things like high quality. No, see, you see down here, high quality. That's a very abstract, generalized way of saying it. Like, what makes it high quality? Anyone could say high quality, but what makes it actual high quality? But yeah, no, if it's for older dogs, younger dogs, show that whole array. But I still have no idea how I'm putting it on my food. Like, it's not telling me very clearly how much to put on my food, wet or dry food. So it leaves a lot to be desired when it comes to that. I mean, you're doing pretty good sales over here, but you know what I did, kids? I did a pick foo. So I said, after viewing this Amazon listing, what questions do you have about this product? And I gave the link, because you can do that with pick foo. Uh, is there any way this tastes remotely good? I'm guessing no. Well, it's for a dog, so. Price point is really high. This would be an item I would avoid buying and ignore for my dog. Oh, that's not really good to do. I have no questions. I feel like I understand. Can I eat it too, or just my dog? Why would you eat it? I like it very much. Nothing seems to work well. Listing is complete, honest. I love the video. I have concerns about the serving size and price of the product. It's $50 for a pouch. This better be a whole lot for what you pay for. I feel like it's not enough information about the product. I don't see any sort of nutrition facts. I don't get why it says other brands don't have those benefits. Of course they must. I think that slide image is dishonest. Is it extremely fish smelling? That's a good point. If it's a fish product, you don't want it to be stinky. Or if it is, but it's good for your dog, then that's fine. I'm glad it says 90 servings. The fact that it was 50 had me questioning a lot. Can it be given to dogs of all ages? What are the major warning signs to look for of something after giving this dog a product? Where exactly in the U.S. is it made? I'd like to know specifically. Is it clinically approved dog food? I think the information on the bottom is thorough. I don't have any questions. So it's interesting no one on the PickFu had questions about how to actually use it. Because I did. I really I understand like you put it on food, but how much do you put it on food? And can I put it on wet and dry food? And it's still not answered here. And I honestly truly think that that's gonna be a question for a lot of people when shopping on Amazon. So let me take a look at another dog food topper just to see if maybe it's just known and no one needs to kind of explain it. So let's take a look at, uh, let's take a look at Halo. So this, great for picky eaters. See, they don't even tell you. Maybe in the A+. Plus. No. It looks like no one's telling you how much to put on. I guess it might be the kind of thing where you're just doing however much you think works well. I mean, this is a white cheddar recipe. That sounds good. Let me put that on some popcorn. Sprinkle, poon sp sp poon spore, spoon pour, <laughs> poon spore. And uh, let's see here. Is anyone, you see, no one's really talking about the serving size. So I think that's actually a really good way for you to differentiate yourself from the competition because this is probably going to be a question a lot of folks will have. I'll take a one look, at, look at one last one here. It's probably a question a lot of people have because that's a question. I, I mean, I have a dog and I, you know, the serving size is great, but how much am I giving it to him? I give him dry food. I don't give him wet food. So can I do it on both? So I think it's a good way to look at it is even if the competition isn't showcasing it, how it could be, you know, actually parsed out and given to the dog i think that's a good way for you to stand out because to be honest it's not really clear and we want it to be super duper clear but anyway guys that is it for another episode of the daily east and teardown powered by pick 
if you're taking a look at this and you're like, I have no idea how to do any of this cool stuff, John. You know how to do it. I don't. That's okay. We have our done for you service here for you. Pick food done for you. We do it all for you. You give us the image. You give us all of your information. We run all the pick food polls for you. Our graphic designers that are experts in CTR will give you the final data-driven image to increase your CTR and thus potentially increasing your sales because more people are going to be clicking. We actually had a client of ours, like I say all the time, one image, main hero image changed with a done for you within 72 hours. His sales literally doubled. He didn't touch anything else of his listing. It's really, really, truly that powerful. It all starts with the click. If people are not clicking, they are not purchasing, folks. But that is all we have for today. Stay tuned for tomorrow. We do this every single day, Monday through Friday, here on the PickFu channel on YouTube. Make sure to like, comment, subscribe, and we will see you on the flippity floppity.